The debate over where to get the greatest pizza and bagels in New York City is only somewhat less heated. There are so many fat, crushed, doubled, and creatively mixed burgers that comparing them is nearly impossible. However, the greatest restaurant, cocktail bar, expensive, basic, and intricate burgers in New York City all have one thing in common. They are so amazing that they always outweigh our appetite for everything else on the menu. So, let's take a look at the top 10 burger restaurants in New York City, New York. Before we get further, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Okay, now back to the video. Number 10. Fairfax The West Village is one of New York's more affluent areas with cobblestone lanes, multi-million dollar brownstones, and gleaming stores. Gabriel Stolman may be the best channeler of hospitality's starry-eyed charm. The restaurants behind Jeffrey's Grocery and Joseph Leonard, two vintage-inspired staples, has worked this magic on the newly opened Fairfax. If you are searching for a burger, the flavors and textures come together in perfect harmony. The bar Sardine Burger does this by contrasting the savory tones of the patties with smoky cheddar and barbecue mayo for smoky and sweet highlights. You've got yourself a symphony when you add the shoestring fries snuggled onto the bread. Number 9. Peter Luger Although a number of Luger knockoffs have flourished in recent years, none have nailed the elusive allure of this stucco-walled, beer hall-style cafe with well-worn hardwood floors and tables and servers in waistcoats and bow ties. Excess is the thing, whether it's the pretty healthy tomato salad, thick slices of tomato and onion with an unusual addition of steak sauce, the legendary porterhouse for two, 44 ounces of sliced prime beef, or a crisp apple strudel that comes with a bowl full of schlag. Number 8. Teddy's Bar & Grill Locals of all ages show their support for an after-work hangout that was previously a Tammany Hall hangout. Teddy's ongoing success may be attributed to the diverse cocktail, beer, and wine menu, as well as a long list of trademark appetizers. The infrequent jazz tap jams, which set the stage a quiver, are held in the dining area. The 1887 burger pays homage to the bar's founding year. For a porky take on the traditional Juicy Lucy, a 10-ounce patty is wrapped in bacon and packed with cheddar. It's topped with garlic aioli and barbecue-glazed red onions. Number 7. Red Hook Tavern Much has been written about how Billy Durney's Red Hook Tavern is influenced by New York landmarks. From afar, the typeface chosen for the restaurant's name may be confused for Minetta Tavern, while McSorley's is honored with two ales. The Dry Age Red Hook Tavern Burger, $24, should be your first priority when a friendly staffer guides you along with a tiny dining room or to one of the 18 bar seats. This pub burger is filling but not overwhelming. The meal, which consists of a dry-aged burger topped with raw white onions and placed between sesame buns, is cooked to perfection. Number 6. Donovan's Pub The bustle of Woodside Queens continues, yet this aging Irish tavern remains unchanged. The front bar is lined with well-heeled old-timers, and the wood-paneled dining room, made even more traditional with stained glass ornamentation, harkens back to a simpler time of pre-chain family meals. The menu is dominated by Irish-American pub fairs like steak, roast beef, and shepherd's pie, but it's the famed burger that justifies the journey. Loosely formed from freshly ground New York strip, broiled to a perfect char, and simply decorated with lettuce and tomato, cheese, and raw onion optional. Number 5. Corzo Conceptions, a savvy, progressive jazz series planned by keyboardist James Carney, is held in the Sunset Park restaurant that specializes in Central European food. Corzo is well known in the area for its $4 house drafts and Lango wrap burgers. The original encases a special beef patty blend, Emmon Taylor cheese, applewood bacon, house-made beet mustard, and the day's pickle in fried dough. Number 4. Five Napkin Burger. The best reason to come is right there on the awning. The trademark burger, a delectable Franco-American smorgasbord, is topped with luscious caramelized onions, comte cheese, and urban-fused aioli. 
encourage your children to avoid the majority of the menu and stick to the burgers, which come in seven varieties and all-American sweets like the thick and generous Caramel Brown Sundae. Number three, Emily. The finest thing on Emily's menu could simply be the burger, despite the fact that it's a fantastic pizza place. This burger, which has a dry-aged beef patty on a pretzel bun with caramelized onions, cheddar, and a wonderful concoction known as Emmy sauce, is well worth the hype. Get one of the buzzes is true. It's worth ordering, even if you're having pizza, because it's made with grass-fed, dry-aged beef, Emmy sauce, caramelized onion, and Grafton cheddar served on a Tomcat pretzel bun. Number 2. 282 Burger the majority of 282's burgers are pleasantly sloppy, slathered with trademark sauce, or heaped high with double quantities of meat from neighboring Los Paisanos Butcher. The namesake dish is no exception, with a stack of roasted poblano peppers on top of one of the cheese-covered patties and barely enough room in a soft bun to carry it all. The end result is rich in filling, and it doesn't require any other ingredients. Number 1. Brooklyn Ice House. The menu at Brooklyn Ice House might easily have been an afterthought, yet its burger topped with American cheese, pickles, lettuce, and tomato is classic pub cuisine at its best. When the weather is beautiful, pair one with a high life and settle down for an afternoon of day drink in the backyard. Pioneer Barbecue, the rustic diner that previously inhabited this Red Hook property, left behind splintered wood walls and mismatched furnishings. From the $2 Carling Black Label to the chocolatey Aventinus from Germany, owner Trevor Bud's beer bar background transfers into 30-plus inexpensive brews. So guys, that was it for this video. What did you think about our video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you are new to our channel, be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell to get notified about our latest videos. Thanks for watching.